we're at a point where we can hopefully provide you some information. More video of the deadly 2019 altercation between a black man and police. It is out for the public to see. Louisiana State Police released the rest of its footage from that night earlier this evening. WDSU's Harrison Golden looked through that video. He joins us live with what the video shows. Harrison. So look, good evening to you. It was around this time back in 2019, of course, when police first told the family of Ronald Green that he had died in a police chase while on the run. He'd crashed his car, they said. Well, the footage out tonight shows that was very much not the case. And a warning, this video may be disturbing. All right. Don't you turn over. You lay, that, lay on your belly. Lay on your belly. It's unfortunate that the path to get here today has taken this long. Newly released footage from the Louisiana State Police makes the events of two years ago more clear. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Most of the body cam video released doesn't show green, but in the parts that do, he doesn't seem to be resisting arrest. Troopers do not appear to be providing medical help. I think it's time for us to really take a look at what happened, for everyone to have factual as much factual information as possible. State Police Superintendent Lamar Davis says he's releasing all the agency's footage from that night to let days of healing begin. I'm putting things in place. I'm putting policies in place to ensure that we do not have this happen again. One of those policies Davis says involved changing commanders at the state police troop on scene that night. They were out to kill him. He had no chance of living. But Green's sister, Daniel Harden, says changes aren't coming fast enough. To see him helpless with no help, I, I can't even view it. I, I mean, when I, when I look at it, it's like I have to, you know, plug my ears up. It's just, it's unbelievable. As investigations are completed, I assure you that we will administer swift disciplinary actions. And indeed, those state and federal investigations do continue with both the DOJ and the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Western District of Louisiana. But just to break down uh, some of the officers that had been uh, allegedly involved here, Dakota DeMoss remains on leave on an unrelated uh, use of force incident. Corey York served a 50 hour suspension, but remains on that leave. And Chris Hollingsworth died in a one vehicle car crash again just shortly after state police announced their intention to fire him. But for now reporting live Harrison Golden WDSU News. All right Harrison thank you so much.